let's see. I know who you are. Hmm, these guys also look suspicious. of alien involvement so far. Oh. But I'll find them! Er, uh, Sammy? What is this all about? I'm testing my theory. Do you know that at least one alien lives in each house? Hmm. Who said that? One great and extremely smart scientist. Seems to me he is also pink and very slimy. <laughs> so how is it going so far? Not good. But I feel that I'm on the right path. You know, even if we don't have our own aliens, we can still do something. Like what? Make them ourselves. Let's go. Woohoo! Hi, guys. Guess who is going to be our guest today? This is Rick from Rick and Morty. And he's going to be a host for an alien. But first, we'll make a carcass of his smart head using cardboard strips. Rick would have been shocked seeing this experiment! <laughs> we'll shape the whole face like this, using cardboard pieces and hot glue. Be careful, it's very hot. We need to do it like this. There we go. His smile looks so crazy, but it's because an alien is living inside his head. <laughs> looks like an episode from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Guys, if you didn't know, Morty is Rick's grandson. And the whole series is about their crazy adventures. Oh, I think I can already see Rick's iconic features. Keep going, Sue. Like these big eye sockets. It's a part of the cartoon style. And all done. Sue, look, I found a ball. Oh, Sammy, this will be a perfect eye for our Rick. What? An eye? Uh-oh, oopsie, I'd better go. Oh, Sammy. <laughs> Let's detach the cardboard model. Carefully. Great, now there are two of them. They are just like Rick's clones, but we'll only need one. Looks cool. Now we have to divide this mask into two parts. We'll cut it according to the outline. Be careful with the cutter. Guys, ask an adult to help at this stage. So, you want to see it? There we go. This is what you should have. Oh, Sue, can I help you? Sure, Sammy. Take this part. Okay, let me see. That's better. What's next, Dizzy? Now comes the fun part. Woohoo! So, guys, we'll glue the paper mache all over the head. For this, we'll need a brush, lots of glue, and paper pieces. Yay, I'm ready too. I'll be working on the lower part of our space. Thanks, Sammy. Now let's apply some glue, like this. And here comes the paper. This way. Next, we'll add more glue on top. We'll need three layers of paper here. Three? Oh, my dibba I'm gonna grow old before we finish this. See, we've already finished. There was nothing to worry about, Sammy. Yep, it wasn't that long at all, Susan. You don't think that I'll believe this fake white hair, right? By the way, guys, we added some cardboard stripes all over the face surface to make it more voluminous. Don't forget to do that, too. Plus, we added small door hinges. Soon you'll know why. Okay, Sue. Actually, paper mache doesn't take that long. And it's quite fun. Since you liked it, Sam, I have another important task for you. Guys, we've made the back part of Rick's head the same way we did the face. And now, Sammy will add the paper mache to it. Oh, here we go again. And while Sam is busy, we'll paint the face. Rick and Morty have a very interesting life. They always travel to other dimensions and universes. And get in trouble a lot. But they always manage to solve all their problems. Eh, what? Did you say something, Sue? I'm saying that Rick and Morty are a great team, just like me and you. I could argue on that, but we still have lots of work to do. Both parts of our face are ready. Sammy, do you need my help? Thanks, Susie, but I think I can do it all by myself. There's just a little bit left. Okay, okay, Sammy. Guys, while Sammy is busy with painting, we'll be making the mechanism. The fun is starting now. 
It's gonna open and close the head as you wish. Sue, I already know who's gonna live in Rick's head! In the meantime, we put a paper stick into the heat shrink and now it goes into the cocktail straw. Guys, we'll use a remote control to open and close the head. I think it's a very cool idea! Susan, I have everything ready! Awesome, Sammy! And I finished our mechanism! Guys, here you'll have to cut the marker and put a nut inside and secure it with glue. Let's see how it's gonna work… There we go! Sue, while I was making the second mechanism, I got a question. If Rick is from dimension C-137, then where do we live? Hmm, I never thought about that, Sammy. But we can come up with the name ourselves. Oh, oh, Sue, I know! Let it be the slime dimension! Awesome! Whoa, I like it! Do you think your alien will fit in this armchair I'm making? Hmm, I think it's a perfect fit! Plus, it's my favorite color! Awesome! Hmm, maybe you can give me a hint? Who's it gonna be? Sorry, Susan, but in the slime dimension, we know nothing about hints. Okay, let it be a surprise! And our armchair is ready! Guys, don't go anywhere! We'll be right back in a second! So, we've made the sliding armchair for our alien! Here we used the same mechanism as before and glued it underneath! By the way, Sammy, when are we gonna meet your alien? Um, what? Oh, he's not ripe enough yet! Ugh, I guess I said too much! Okay, Sammy, you can tell us later! You did a great job here and even made an opening for the wires! So cool! But before we install the armchair, we should add the motor and some lighting. Awesome, right? Here we have the LED strip light. Plus two glowing handles. Dude, look! I found some motors and decided to attach the wires to them! Thanks, Sammy! Perfect timing! I just finished with the armchair and we can move to the next stage! Let's add some glue and install this at the bottom part of our head. Huh? Perfect! Sue, I found more mechanism parts! Oh, I know they are from the front part of the face! Did you say something about the parts for Rick's face? Don't put them away, we'll need them soon! We won't, since I already installed them! <laughs> Thanks, my slimy friend! Whoa, great job, Sammy! Hey, Susan! Let's see… Did you forget about the eyes? How could I? Sure not! Don't be scared, Sammy! It's just a mask! It's coming out nicely, but we still have to work on the other side! Any ideas, Sammy? We can put some panels, buttons, and switches inside! Since it's not just a head, but a control tower! <gasps> right! Great idea! Huh? I love it! Hey, Sammy, why do you need the foil hat? Why do you even ask? This will prevent the alien from getting into my head! I don't want to disappoint you, but the foil hat won't help you, most likely. Cause we'll arrange the things here in the way he won't even think about going somewhere else! First, we'll cover the braces and we'll use the flexible part of the straw for that. Make a long cut like this. And just put it here. Looks like a real pipe! I have to come up with something cool, too! Here! Take these two computers! Wow, Sammy, this is so detailed! Let's place it here. Oh, Sue, be careful! I saw some radiation hazard signs! Oh, yes! Crazy scientist's mind isn't a safe place. That's why we'll make a safety barrier here. And add more wires. Hup. Uh-oh! Careful! Sue, I guess I know what to do with him. Guys, this looks so much better now! Right? Sue, look! I also found a way to use the wires! Whoa! This looks so cool, Sammy! Guys, to make things work, we need to connect everything to this chip! Perfect timing, Sammy! Let's do this! That's where all the wires go! Nothing complicated at this stage! Sue, so check out my spaceship! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Be careful, Sammy! It's our remote control! And now guys will need these blue cones! I'm sure you know why! It's for Rick's ultra-cool hairstyle! Wow, so cool! It looks just like the real one! Maybe that's because we visit the same hairdresser! <laughs> By the way, Sammy, how is your alien doing there? I guess he is ripe enough already? What did you say, Sue? I don't know what you mean! I mean the alien that has to live inside Rick's head! Wait, what? Ah, ah, I pranked you, Sue! 
you? Only Pickle Rick can survive in such radioactive environments! Wow! This is a masterpiece, Sammy! You really surprised me! Sit here, little great genius! Here, take this smart tablet! They say it helps to travel the universe! Now you're talking! So guys, it's time to see our craft in action! Do you agree that this is a mega cool craft? If yes, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Hmm, I wonder how our Pickle Rick is doing. So, Pickle Rick, are you ready? Hold on, Sammy. Ready for what? For an intergalactic adventure, of course! Whoa, cool! Can I come with you? Sure, Sue! But we'll need to make a bigger cardboard spaceship! Then we have a lot of work to do. Guys, thanks for being with us today, and bye-bye! Don't forget to hit the bell button so you won't miss our next videos! <laughs>